nagpalabas na issue ng show post order para po sa former secretaries ng previous administration. Member sila ng security sector. Hindi sinipot ng ilang inanyahang miyembro ng gabinete ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang pagdinig ng House Committee on National Defense and Security at Special Committee on the West Philippine Sea sa umano'y gentleman's agreement ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte at Chinese President Xi Jinping kaugnay ng West Philippine Sea. Wala namang paliwanag ang top security officials ng Duterte administration kung bakit hindi sila nakadalo sa House hearing maliban kay dating Executive Secretary Salvador Medeldea na nagpadala ng kinatawan dahil may prior commitment. Bunsod nito, naglabas na ng show cause order ang House Panels upang pagpaliwanagin si dating Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana at National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon. Muli rin silang inimbitahan sa ikalawang pagdinig ng pinagsanib na komite na nakatakda bukas May 21. So, nagtataka ako kung ano yung, kung ano yung dapat na, na kanilang iwasan sapagkat uh, sila ang nakakaalam kung meron ba talaga, first, kung meron ba talaga na gentleman's agreement, pangalawa, kung ano yung napapa sa loob dito. So, mas maganda, Mr. Chair, na talagang uh, sila mismo ay magpunta upang linawin kung ano, kung ano yung kanilang uh, nalalaman. Bagaman iminungkahi ni House Deputy Minority Leader at Act Teachers Partilist Representative Franz Castro na imbitahan si dating Pangulong Duterte sa pagdinig, hindi ito pinagtibay ng dalawang House Committees. Isang mambabatas din ang nais imbitahan ng mga tagapagsalita ng dating administrasyon na sina Atty. Harry Roque at Salvador Panelo, subalit hindi rin ito inaksyonan ng joint panels. Samantala, para sa mga kasalukuyang opisyal ng Department of Foreign Affairs, Department of National Defense, National Security Council at Department of Justice, non-existent ang umani gentleman's agreement. Wala silang impormasyon o tala kaugnay nito. The DFA reiterates its firm position that the Philippines has not entered into any agreement abandoning its sovereign rights and jurisdiction over its exclusive economic zone and continental shelf, including on the Ayungin Shoal. However, it is with utmost regret that the current DND and its official cannot provide you with adequate understanding or substantial explanation on this matter because we are not Pre to any gentleman's agreement with China, we also do not have any record in our possession detailing or potentially showing the contours of a deal. The NSA has already made it clear that he is not aware, nor was he part of such alleged agreement entered into by the Philippine government. During that time, in 2016, he was still the commanding general of the Philippine Army and he was not part of the Philippine delegation during a visit to China. Itinanggiri ng umanoy kasunduan maging ng dating tagapanguna sa Philippine Coast Guard. Uh, we have not heard of any gentleman's agreement between the two presidents. Otherwise, it could have been cascaded down to us as the uh, forefront agency in our quest towards protecting our sovereignty and sovereign rights. Ang Philippine Coast Guard, umapila naman sa mga kongresista na tapusin na ang pagdinig sa lalong madaling panahon. Dahil para sa liderato ng PCG, may hindi mabuting bunga ito para sa publiko. We appeal that this hearing be concluded the soonest possible time as this has the potential to divide our people and this has the potential to confuse us on the ground. It is just an appeal, Your Honor. Magkakaiba naman ang posisyon ng mga mambabata sa usaping ito. But uh, I have already stated my position before na there is no need for us to conduct a, a, a committee hearing because I, can, I think the better position for our government to do and the, the president has already done that. Eh. There, there is no agreement and if there is such an agreement, tapos na. Uh, I think that is the best position for us. Eh. The fact if it is proven na nagkaroon ng gentleman's agreement, whether it is rescinded or not, whether it is valid or not, it speaks volumes of our foreign policy. That if it is proven that there was that agreement, shouldn't there be accountability, Mr. Chair? Because that would be, uh, sorry, betrayal of the Constitution. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.